Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Let's talk some Shiba Inu and we're going to get into an analyst. And when will Shiba Inu explode? I know you guys are watching this and you've probably heard it a thousand times. And guess what? Shiba Inu is still here, has not exploded yet. But uh, that's jokes aside. Let's talk about it. Let's get into some SHIB talk. What needs to happen for SHIB to explode? Let's break that down here in this video. Before we do so, guys, if you are new to the channel and girls, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe right down below. Make sure you smash that like button and feel free to leave your comments on this video in the chat. All right, so let's get it. Let's talk about it and let's get into the crypto bubbles as we look at the market today. And before we do, guys, please remember, this is not financial advice, just my thoughts involving the crypto world. Make sure you guys do your research and due diligence. All right, but as we stand here today, uh, it's been kind of a mixed bag within the top 100. Some cryptos are up, some are down, and Shiba Inu is hanging out as we look at SHIB down 2.5. 6%, a little bit of a market correction awaiting the weekend, but still something where we're just right on the verge and the edge of hitting that 4020 line as we did a little bit earlier um, in the year. And this is still something where we need to celebrate as SHIB holders. We're up 124% in the last 364 days. So Shiba Inu moving up six spots in market cap, trading at a $10.41 billion crypto. That is a Definite uh, sign of recovery as we look to celebrate uh, kind of this segue into the new era where I think 2025 is going to have a lot in store. So let's get into kind of what is happening and what will need to happen for SHIB to explode. Now, this is coming out from a crypto analyst, Crypto Jack. So I'm going to just give credit to that uh, and talk about this article because this is as we saw SHIB almost hit that 4020 mark on, on Tuesday. That's where we've became the 12th ranked crypto by market cap, surpassing Avalanche. But this is something as the overall market has kind of corrected. And I do want to preface this all by saying, and I've talked about it a little bit in previous videos, when this happens, we need to talk about the fact that the presidential election is right around the corner. And we've seen this with a little bit more of the altcoins, not necessarily the meme coins, right, in the top 100. There's been a lot of money been put on the sidelines, okay? People are just kind of in a holding pattern. They want to see kind of where the volatility lays, um, lies, I should say, and kind of just hanging out, right? No one's really diving in because if we do get, uh, you know, as expected, if you do follow Poly Market or any of those betting sites for the election, it looks like Donald Trump is winning. You look at the polls, it looks like he's winning. Um, and right now it's just kind of a holding pattern because no one's quite frankly just uh, con kind of convicted on that. All right. And if that does happen, great. If it doesn't happen, then crypto is going to respond in a different way. And when I talk about that, it's not a political platform, but it is something where we're just going to use it to kind of look at more of a macro uh, trend as it will impact the cryptocurrency market, uh, as we've seen reports, if both candidates uh, in kind of which way uh, the the scales would shift if we do get an election one side or another. OK, but back into it, I want to share more about this. And this is a very, very good story as we look into kind of this downturn. And this is where Crypto Jack identifying an important price structure in the way of SHIB's uh, uptrend, okay? And this is kind of where if this does happen, uh, he's predicting that a huge surge would happen. Now, this is where you look at Shiba Inu in a price range on the one daily chart showing that we've start a pattern that uh, kind of what we've seen before we've hit alt on a three month high back on September 27th. And you can see this consolidation that we've stuck in this 4016 range and 4020. And if you've been watching my content talking about Shiba Inu, I've told you guys uh, for quite some time that 4020 mark is very crucial, okay? If, if you went back to the spring of 2024, when we did surpass that, that's when SHIB got up into the borderline 4040, which would be over the all-time high level, 50% uh, of all-time highs, I should say, for SHIB. And that's why it's uh, so important, okay? If we do bust through that, that's where that resistance, that psychological barrier becomes less of an issue, and then SHIB can run rampant, all right? But if we do want to explode the upside, and I do agree with Crypto Jack, that SHIB must break through that range, that upper boundary, okay? where it is sitting at that 4020, 4021. That's exactly how I feel about it. Now, if we do defy that resistance at the top, that's where you look at kind of what's in store. And I will kind of put this so you can see a little bit better, uh, but that's kind of where you identify that 40201 as being the resistance as a must, a must breach through for SHIB to hit upside, okay? And an earlier report has talked about a little bit, a little bit more. Other people on YouTube, other crypto analysts have been talking about it. The next stop, step will be that 402, okay? And then if we do pass through that, that's when you look at Shiba Inu 
potentially taking back that zero, getting back into the three zero one. And that would be a huge, huge uptrend. Now, the, the most important thing to talk about, and we tell everybody kind of what to look for and all this TA is standing in the way of Shiba Inu and the run that we're looking to go on. The biggest thing here is, okay, those numbers are all great, but they're all for nothing unless it actually happens. Nobody has a crypto crystal ball. We're just sitting here talking, we're speculating. And quite frankly, um, I'm never going to tell you to buy or sell a crypto, but I will tell you one thing. When we do look at the historical trends from 2017, 2021, every four years, history seems to repeat itself within the cryptocurrency world. And now as we get into it, it's funny how it all coincides with the presidential election. That's why we're talking so much about it. And, you know, it does make a difference because if we do hit the same stride we did in 2021, then all bets are off. Ship can go uh, to the three zero range. It can go to the two zero range. I'm not going to sit here and pretend that that's not possible because it is. We've saw uh, these explosions, these God candles, if you will. Um, I'm going to pull it up for you guys so you can see it for yourself. And it's something you can't ignore. As we look into the trading view, I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. Um, this is kind of where we look into SHIB, and you can see back in March of 2024, we did get an explosion, right? And that was where we got as high as 50% of all-time highs. But if we date back to 2021, and you look back at kind of where that was, SHIB was doing quite all right, all right? And you can see this by this horizontal line that's formed right below uh, the 4045 mark, and that was as high as SHIB got back in springtime of 2024. And this is kind of what we're looking for, okay? And this was in 2021. And if history does repeat, this was the fall of 2021. So I, I did tell everybody it's about a nine to 12 month window, in my personal opinion, once we get through the election, once we get into 2025, then I think it's going to be a nine month window, okay? And that would take us right up to the moment in time where this crazy run ensued, where we did get uh, is at all time highs. We looked at taking back, the, taking that third zero out, um, and that was an incredible, credible run for Shiba Inu, okay? And that all started, like I said, guys, September of 2024 or 2021. And that would be exactly four years and about nine months after the start of 2025, this go round. So um, that's kind of where I'm at. I, I just, I'm trusting the historical cycles. I'm trusting uh, in that pattern. It really, quite frankly, doesn't matter, in my opinion, what we're doing, you know, all the advancements made to the SHIB ecosystem. We talk about Shibarium, we talk about everything coming, the metaverse, uh, treat, all that good stuff is fine. But right now for SHIB holders, I think it's the biggest time uh, that we need to be focused on, in on is that nine month window that is shortly coming right around the corner. So um, that's what I'll leave you guys with. Let me know your price predictions down below in the comments. Uh, for me, I keep it 100. I don't really pump sunshine where there's no sunshine and all clouds. And right now we're still stuck in this holding pattern where I'm not ready to tell you guys, hey, my ship's going to 301. Okay. Not there yet, but when we get there, be sure to tell you, and that's why you guys all need to subscribe right down below so you stay informed with what's going on within Shiba Inu every single day right here on the channel. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your weekend. We'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.